Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about a feature of Lightroom called Interactive Edits. Now, Interactive Edits is not a feature of Lightroom Classic. It's also not a feature of Lightroom CC. That is the cloud version of Lightroom. Where you could find Interactive Edits is in the web version of Lightroom. A lot of people don't know that there's a version of Lightroom that's meant to be run in a web browser. I have it open right now. You can see I have my Chrome web browser and you can see that I have controls. I could actually edit this image in Lightroom on the internet. Now, in the description below this video, I'll have a link where you could get to your web version of Lightroom. Of course, you have to be a Creative Cloud subscriber in order to use this. And in a future video, I'll actually um, talk about how to get images into the web version of Lightroom and how to edit images in the web version of Lightroom. But today we're talking about that feature called interactive edits. Now to get to it, I'm going to just X out of the edit panel by clicking on this little X over here. And I'm in the album view of the web version of Lightroom. And what I want to do is I want to click on the little home button over here in the left hand corner. And there, you could see my images are at the top. Then you have interactive edits. And if just to explore a little further, down here we have guided tutorials as well. So you could get some tutorials on how to edit specific uh, looks and things you want to do in Lightroom. But what we're talking about here are these interactive edits. And I'm going to view all. And what interactive edits are is photographers upload images to the interactive edits version of the of Lightroom in on the web and you could look at them and you could see exactly the steps they took to achieve the look that they achieved. Now we have them divided up into different categories. You can see right now I'm in all but there's abstract aerial and so on and I'm just going to go to portraits uh, for now and then you could see all these different portraits and you could see the looks and then what you all you then all you need to do is hover over the image and you could see the before. So there's before and there's after. Now, if you want to click on it and see what this photographer did to get this look, just click on it. And then over on the right hand panel, you'll see that it will go through each of her steps she did to achieve that specific look. Now, also in the description below this video, I'll have a link to Adobe's help page for interactive edits. The thing with that help page, it shows some features that I have not found. Uh, for example, one of the features, it says that in the top right hand corner, there'll be a button to download a preset. So I thought that would be pretty cool. If you really like the look the photographer achieved, you could download the preset. But I've uh, examined around a dozen or so of these images that are on the interactive web as, uh, at its website, and I have not found any that have included a download preset. Now, of course, what you could do is just do a screenshot of this and then see what she did to achieve that look. And then you could, you know, imitate it manually and actually kind of customize it to your image because of course every image is different now um, when you look you could see she started out with a jpeg and then she did exposure a half a stop contrast highlights and so on and it will keep paging through and what you could do though is you could just click on one let's say at the exposure step and it will pause it there and then you could see well what did she do at saturation and she brought down uh, saturation to minus 30 and vibrance above that to minus 25. But then she started uh, doing um, some saturation and luminance adjustments and some hue adjustments with the color mixer. And you could step through all of those as she does them. Then she did split toning and so on and noise reduction and then she cropped it. So uh, you could get all those steps. You click on the info tab and you might get some camera and exposure information. Uh, since this was a JPEG, um, that isn't showing up there. But we could click the back uh, button there. And let's find another one. Let me see if I could find one that I actually looked at that I know was um, a raw file. Let me see. I'm having no luck. 
But what I was um, thinking of doing is in the future when I do a Lightroom tutorial where I'm actually editing the image, I'll put my image up here so that people could download it or look at it and uh, use it, you know, for inspiration for themselves. Maybe I saw it under all. Bear with me. I want to find one specific one that I really liked that didn't have a lot of processing. Here it is right here, this one. Okay, there's the, let it load. The original image is a Canon RAW file. You can see the photographer then brought exposure down a little bit, contrast, highlights, shadows, and so on. And you could see as they go through their adjustments, exactly what they did. And as it pages through or steps through each adjustment, the image gets updated with that adjustment. Then you could go to info and you could see the info uh, camera, lens, um, some of the settings they used, and so on. Uh, so you could go through and really, I don't know, get some inspiration. I think that's the idea for it, not to maybe exactly copy what a photographer did, but if you're going for a specific look, for example, um, I want to find a look for my street photography. And I've been experimenting with various color toning, and I haven't really found anything that kind of trips my trigger. Uh, what I plan to do is go through the inspirational edits um, for street photography and try to get some ideas here. If I see an edit I like, or maybe a couple different edits I like, and see what the photographer did to achieve that look, then I could maybe uh, incorporate that into my processing. Not, I don't plan on ripping it off exactly, um, although that would be all right. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. None of this is copyrighted. But I plan on uh, getting an idea of where I want to go and then using it to uh, help me get there, if that makes any sense. So uh, interactive edits, a uh, feature of the web version of Lightroom. In the description below this video, again, I'll have a link to the web version of Lightroom. Again, you have to be a creative cloud subscriber in order to access it. And I'll also have a link to um, Adobe's web page that explains interactive edits. And it explains really uh, pretty much everything um, that's on this page, guided tutorials as well. And again, in a future episode, uh, probably later this week, I'll do a video um, on the web version of Lightroom how you get images into it and how you edit them and what edit controls are there and what edit controls are missing compared to uh, the cloud version of Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>